Hello, I am Kishore Kumar, founder of Kishcat Classes. I welcome you to Kishcat Classes. Well, I have scored 99.93% in CAT. So this percentile is reasonably good. I was invited by I am on the bar, Bangalore and to some other management examinations that is like for XLRI and FMS. I did receive final admissions from these good institutes, I should say, the best institutes. Well, prior to this, well, I finished my schooling with a reasonably good academic score, which was 57.33 and then 12th was 53. I've studied science and then graduation was English literature and I scored 50.3 percentage. 0 0.4 percentage lower in graduation would have forced me to do some other thing because eligibility was 50 percentage. So I just met the 50 percentage one. I'm eligible and I've written. I've done all these things without any formal cat coaching. I prepared on my own and the preparation was just limited to a maximum of uh, seven weeks. That is, I prepared only for 50 days. I revised all the concepts, started scoring reasonably good marks in the mock cats. However, I faced a lot of uh, difficulty in understanding uh, a lot of questions. That is why I scored only 50 percentage 55 percentage marks here as well. So in such a case, I haven't improved. Some people may comment on it actually. My academics were extremely lower. CAT percentile is reasonably good. But CAT percentage marks, simple. That's what I used to get in my schooling 10th, 12th and my graduation also. Since I've done all these things without any proper coaching center, I felt that coaching center uh, interference is limited here. But again, it is my own opinion. I am the cat trainer. Still, I say a good understanding of the cat is more than sufficient. I give cat coaching exclusively in South India and my offices are situated only in South India. I give free cat coaching to financially poor students. That was my biggest motivation or ideology or a vision, any other thing related to Kish Cat classes. So for this CAT 2011, I helped some financially poor students. Majority of my students are financially poor. So I give free cat coaching to them. And then the success rate was the most important one in my classes. So I did receive this 39 percentage success rate. So 26 IIM final admissions. <clears throat> and in CAT 2012, well, it reached another high, which was 44 percent, and it was 111 IIM final admissions. I continue to do the same thing in the years to come, maybe for CAT 2014, not maybe, for CAT 2014-15 and beyond that also. I give free CAT coaching to financially poor students. There is no limit for the number of candidates again. And I do give a free CAT coaching to some students who have got a lot of enthusiasm. Well, enthusiasm is again debatable. Now, well, for CAT 2013, uh, I think I'm going to get a reasonably good number of calls also again. I'm going to graph that 44 percentage. This year also I'm giving free CAT coaching. Well, since CAT 2013 has already started, and for some candidates, the CAT examination is around the corner, and for some candidates, it may be a maximum of two weeks left for CAT. And in just two weeks, uh, what can we do? Well, it's a fairly simple thing. 
टू वीक्स इज द लॉन्गेस्ट टाइम फॉर कैट प्रिपरेशन यू कैन लर्न ज्योमेट्री कॉन्सेप्ट कंप्लीटली आलजीब्रा कॉन्सेप्ट कंप्लीटली यू कैन लर्न एनी कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू सक्शन ऑन कंप्लीटली यू कैन फोकस ऑन द एक्सी ऑफ सक्शन टू इंप्रूव यूर एक्सी लेवल सिग्निफिकेंटली एंड यू कैन इंप्रूव द नंबर ऑफ एटम्प मे बी बै फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी पर्सेंटेज इफ यू आर अटम्पिंग अराउंड टेन टू ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन इन सक्शन टू सो दिस पीरियड इज क्रूशियल well i do agree that uh, people start uh, cat preparation very early some people start uh, one and a half year before the cat also some people might have written uh, two or three times so that is like veterans of the cat examination people generally start very early and uh, when they start very early the focus was uh, on two or three parameters focus on two or three exclusive things one is to learn concepts second one was a revision of the concepts well the logical one is mock cats what is the outcome of the mock cat well people some people are generally disappointed some people generally see that okay this is the true reflection of what i have done actually now when the cat is round the corner and maybe two days to go or 10 days to go still some people learn new concepts revise them and the exclusive focus is on writing mock cats well that is the way a lot of people have done in the previous years and long time back also and that is how people do in the near future also this is a reasonably good one but however what they try to do this the, the, they try to how they disrupt the entire process is like they bring external information into it actually now the one external information is you collect cat 2013 like uh, either a day one or day two info second one you exclusively focus on difficulty levels third one you bring or you try to interact with the coaching center guys or you participate in online discussion forums actually to see what it is really well remember that Well, the level of difficulty varies across the slots. That is true, but it is not significant actually. The level of difficulty varies slightly, maybe by four percentage or five percentage points. Some people disagree with me, but still remember, it is completely true that the level of difficulty varies significant, not significantly, slightly, not negligibly, but but we we just come back and focus on it. So. even if uh, there's one week to go you can learn new concepts as i told you that you can focus on any part and you can master and master it but however what the majority of the students what they do is like uh, they bring this news that is like uh, number of uh, questions or level of difficulty that scat analysis into their preparation you know what happens is completely like uh, then the outcome will come the outcome what really happens is like you should exclusively focus on learning the concepts but you modify it by bringing the new information saying that slot 1 there are a lot of geometry questions so i should focus on geometry questions slot 2 or 3 well 3 or 4 questions are coming from a new areas like trigonometry or a lot of stress was there on functions so we modify the preparation the last one week or two weeks of preparation based on the outcome that is absolutely a wrong way to start the preparation or wrong way wrong way to revise the concepts actually you should not focus on what is happening to cat actually <clears throat> well cat normalization cat examination level of difficulties all these things well are debatable actually but 
there has to be a solid basis or solid base for these debates actually we can focus on all these things little later not now actually but how to learn concept which area to focus which areas not to focus at all well all these things people do one good thing is like you should understand that no matter how difficult the cat is no matter how many days of preparation you have done remember that cat is all about common sense aptitude test seriously a simple common sense aptitude test well let's see what you need to do in the next two days to 12 days i'll tell you you can exclusively focus on geometry you can master it you can focus on algebra part well you can master it third one you can focus on data interpretation that is you should know how to apply the concepts of ratios averages and then percentages fourth one you can focus on accuracy and speed when it comes to logical reasoning fifth one you can focus on tones main points sixth one you can focus on para completion all these six things can be finished simultaneously we do not need uh, weeks of preparation for cat it's not because i have done it for my cat it's not that my students have done it for cat 2011 and 12 actually but understand that cat is a very simple examination and you can absolutely do wonders in just one or two weeks i'm not focusing on magic kind of things actually again next step of the candidate or the next wrong step is to focus on how many questions should be attempted or what should be that reasonably good percent time well these things are fairly simple we have already discussed it. a lot of cat coaching sets have already discussed and people started giving their own opinions actually well the opinions are incorrect they should give the exact things the exact number of questions one candidate should attempt actually well i've trained a lot of students and i have learned that the, the accuracy is the only thing needed when it comes to cat apart from common sense accuracy so i have trained some candidates previously one candidate is like uh, samindra is now a student of uh, iit b that is uh, shailesh jamnagar school of management well he attempted one verbal ability question plus nine logical reasoning questions he scored 88.12 percentile well again 23 qa questions he scored 99.41 and then overall it was simply 98.74 10 im calls converted four new ims and then iitb what was the strategy the strategy was simply attempting just one question and then focus on accuracy look at this one some people may argue that the level of difficulty of this paper might it might be really high actually i don't think so the level of difficulty of the paper across the slots varies not significantly slightly 4 to 5% plus or minus that's it i'll explain you the level of difficulty of this one in another 5 minutes from now 
Now there is another candidate that is candidate number two. Abhishek is now a student of FMS. He just attempted one QA plus seven data interpretation. He scored 83.12 percentile and he attempted 19 verbal ability plus LR. He scored 98.89 and then overall was 95 percentile and he received 7 I think 8 uh, 7 IM calls. What is the strategy of Samindra and the Navishek? Accuracy. The number of attempts significantly lower. Some people generally make comments on their performance sense. But remember, they have the common sense and they applied the strategy also. Well, the accuracy is the only mantra. I'll tell you, there are a lot of people here generally focus on, let's say, 10 questions with 100% accuracy or let's say 14 questions with uh, let's say 11 corrects and 3 mistakes or people generally focus on the other way it's not 11 questions actually they say 15 questions and then uh, 12 corrects and 3 mistakes well I give thumbs up to the candidates who scored this one he is going to get more percentile. Sure. Look, when you analyze the performance of uh, mock cats of a lot of cat training centers, if you open that analysis part, the analysis part gives you the complete idea about uh, what really happened to the particular exam. I cannot open anybody's analysis actually. But look, when you study that one, they generally give information related to the time you spent on that particular question and the average time spent by the top 10 percentage of the candidates are the candidates who answered it correctly. And when you analyze all these things across all the mock ads, all the mock ads, one fourth of the score which is 45 marks, 15 questions. This one will be sufficient or the, in terms of because they give ranks only or sometimes they give percentiles also. Of course, they give percentiles. But since the examination is generally written by 20,000 candidates, well, the rank of this candidate is very close to 3500 to 4000. And remember, of course, some 2 lakh people write the CAT examination. You cannot multiply the rank by 10 actually. These are the number of people who are preparing for CAT in a serious way. Well, in some coaching centers also. Well, other people, not everyone again. Well, in some other coaching centers also, all the coaching centers put together, you can say that some 60,000 people are preparing and from the remaining 140, 1,40,000 people, not many people are serious about that. You cannot completely multiply this rank with 10 actually, maybe with 3 or 4. It means that the candidate overall rank is going to be 18,000. So for every 1 lakh it is going to be 9000, it means that he is going to get 91 percentile, 9000 is 9 percentage, so you need to subtract from 100 to get your percentile, that is 91 percentile at least, seriously. And the candidates who attempt that, again one third of the score, that is like 60 marks by just attempting 20 percent. 
this rank was uh, very close to 1500 to 1700 it means that the candidate may be like into another three times four times also 6000 rank out of 2 lakh that is 97 percentile actually and then half of the score which was 90 marks which is 90 marks with 30 questions the rank was very close to 250 that's it not just 250 i can directly say that it is only 200 then this time you should not multiply it with three actually it is you should multiply with just like that uh, to 400 rank so if a candidate is going to get 15 questions that is 45 marks i'm talking about 100 percent accuracy the candidate is going to get 90 85 percentile in a worst scenario 85 percentile the candidate with the 20 questions that is like 60 marks is going to get 90 to 91 percentile the candidate with the, like 30 questions that is 90 marks is going to score 99 percentile this is true 10 questions in every section is sufficient for at least 85 percentile the 10 is one third again 12 questions is more than sufficient for a score which is around 93 to 95. 15 questions automatically 97. 17 questions very close to 99. 99 and above. Well, it's just like that additions. Now, what can I do for CAT 2013 apart from this analysis? It's very simple. I can give you not just some tips actually that is another way some tips i can give you second one i can give you exclusive questions third one i can give you key of these things fourth one i can give you for uh, performance chart fifth one and the major one is i can give you video solutions for all these things i have no other candidate actually i'm the only one taking cat classes in my institute the remaining people they are working as managers my managers every single manager has scored at least 99 percent time or at least received interview calls from iams however i am the only one taking CAT classes in all the areas, all the areas of CAT and for the second round of preparation also. Some of uh, my friends studied in uh, IEMs. They generally come and then they conduct some GDP adjustments actually. But again, I'm the only source for my institute. Now, before all these things, uh, I should discuss with you uh, the exact structure of uh, that is like I'm going to give you these tips and exclusive questions and all. I should give you the exact timetable actually. So I'll present the timetable now. Before that, uh, this might be useful. Remember all these things you have learned, all these concepts during your schooling. Do not focus on revision again. One cautious advice. Do not focus on revision. That is you should not do it again next one well there is no point in writing many mock ads and such matters. well you have the ability to sit through the two hours 40 minutes two hours 20 minutes and you can think but there is no point in trying to like you know write many mock ads remember cat is all about application of the concepts it is not about knowing the concepts it is not about writing many markets it's about whether you can apply the same concept every single day this is like uh, like if i have to compare in terms of the cricket this is like the batting of rahul dravid or sachin tendulkar kalis or ricky ponting well these people prevailed under different circumstances they stick to the 
cricket rules they stick to the book charts no matter how difficult the pitch no matter how difficult the bowler they stick to the basics and they apply the concepts it is not like that the other players who generally hit any ball to six and who can be out for any ball so cat is an examination suitable for the candidates who have got good understanding consistency enthusiasm and i give you something what really happened to cat 2007 and 10 this is the thing that you should be focusing on when you are targeting cat 2013 well i also reasonably worried about uh, the selection process of lot of ims because they started giving significant weightage to academics well that is again debatable i should not comment on it actually but if you have very good academic regard very good means it should be at least 80 percentage throughout academics in 12 12th and in graduation or engineering or just graduation well non engineering candidates probably there is a, a better way to clear that one a simpler way to clear the cutoffs okay if i focus exclusively on ahmedabad kolkata lab no because uh, these things they, the cutoffs are generally higher if the academics are really good for a general candidate the sectional cutoff this is sectional cutoff sectional cutoff was lower actually but every time they make it as 90 at least so to get a 90 percentile in both the sections a candidate should attempt 10 to 11 questions with 100 percent accuracy a minimum 95 percent accuracy and an overall score should be 98 percentile which is 27 to 28 i should say it is even lower you can take up two more questions because people are now informing that the level of difficulty of quant section is more now now for the obc candidates nc obc i am not talking about obc well 22 to 24 questions overall will automatically fetch you 94 percentile and for scheduled type and scheduled scheduled gas and scheduled type of course scheduled type pers- like percentile required is lower but i just clubbed them so it was reasonably 14 to 15 Yes, some of my students last year received 12 IIM interview calls of scheduled guest category by scoring 79.5 percentile with a very good academic record. 10th and 12th, that is 10th and intermediate was about 90. Engineering was 80 to 90, 81, 82 percentage. And if the academics are not up to the mark, that is not 80 percentage. if it is lower than 80 percent is in just one time one out of this 10th or 12th or graduation then it is difficult to get with 98 percent a candidate must score 99.9 to get interview calls from ahmedabad kolkata particularly ahmedabad well when it comes to bangalore indore shillong and kozhikode well the selection process is slightly biased towards the candidates who has who have good academic record bangalore is slightly different again very few people receive interview calls from bangalore and the people who receive interview calls from bangalore generally scored very high percentages during the academics again it is debatable why should they focus on it shillong is one exception whether the candidate is nc obc or whether the candidate is general the candidate should have scored at least 85 86 percentage in the graduation 86 minimum very high and when it comes to new iims well iims like rohotak focuses on academics however it is not significant to get an interview call from new iims all the general candidates should score at least 97 percentile 
that can be achieved by attempting 25 to 26 uh, by attempting 25 to 26 questions overall i think it is going to be lower than 25 24 to 25 and for ncobc candidates that is very low 80 percentile 14 to 15 questions for other candidates scheduled gas schedule type including disability the cutoff was 65 last year and previous year was also 65 and uh, i safely assume that this year also it is going to be 65 so it can be achieved by just attempting 12 to 13 and it could be lowered by one more person also this is true and this is what i have predicted in cat 2007 8 9 10 11 12 every time uh, my prediction was true 100 percent and this year these are the predictions and it is going to be true 100 percent because it is going to fail or it's going to achieve the success so it is going to achieve success i have got full confidence now but the information i provided to you is sufficient but however this is just an information but you should focus on how to reach these percentiles now when i started my preparation and when i started guiding my students this is what i this is the analysis table or the analysis chart i give to them every time i come across a question of course the strategy to take mock cats is different from candidate to candidate actually my strategy is also different i go through every question first i mark all the reasonably simple questions in 10 minutes and i start solving that's a different strategy because my i also solve some questions quickly less than one minute i can solve at least 10 questions in 10 minutes now every time i come across a question I just look at the entire question and see whether I know the concept or not. If that concept is not known to me, it means that the test is failed and I don't even move ahead. If I know the concept, then I should understand, can I at attempt this question? Can I understand, like, the, can I understand what is generally asked in this one? That is like, I don't make reading errors here the next one is uh, i should focus on application of the concepts well if i know that uh, i'm really strong in uh, let us say geometry if i come across a difficult question maybe like a combination of uh, a circle and then quadrilateral or circle and the trapezium question and there are a lot of cards or a lot of sequence written I should understand how to apply the concept. I know the concepts of every single topic. If I am not comfortable enough in the application part of the concept, I should not move. I should stop there, come back. So for every single question, at the starting of the test, I mark all these things. At the end of the one, I focus on the remaining four. That is, have I solved it quickly? Have I guessed it? After eliminating two answer options or three, is it a blind, blind guess? And have I analyzed the question after solving it and have I revised it? So these things I mark it every single time. This is how I have done in 50 days. This is how my students have been doing in the last two years. I started my, I started guiding them as I told you just four to five weeks before the CAT exam. And they did receive. So what can I do in the next 10 days from now? Because like I have a schedule. As I told you, I'm going to give you worksheets followed by the keys and followed by video solutions. In that video solutions, what I do is, uh, let's say that I'm, let's say that I'm going to teach you triangles. The first 15 minutes or 10 minutes of video, in the first 10 minutes, I discuss each and every minute point of that triangles. No, that is incorrect. I discuss only things related to cat. I don't focus on the things which are outside the domain of cat. 
I focus exclusively on the application part of the concepts which are asked in the mock CATs, asked in the CAT, followed by the solutions for all the questions. The schedule I'm going to give you. This is the schedule. First is the geometry. What topics I prerequisite concept that I cover, I'm going to cover is like lines, angles, polygons, and circles. I'm going to cover. I can give you worksheets of round one. That is like yesterday itself. Uh, that is like Monday, 21st October. And then video solutions I upload all the so this is the entire schedule you can have it i'm going to post this schedule in my facebook as well my facebook is uh, kishcat classes my website is kishcatclasses.com you can also uh, post in uh, online discussion forums my pagal guy id which is uh, doing really good actually not my id actually pagal guy my Pagal guy ID is I am a guy. I'm not a student of I am on the one. I did receive. However, I'm reasonably comfortable and I feel happy to guide you to reach the time on the one. Well, this is the entire schedule. I'm going to focus on every area, including geometry, algebra, numbers, arithmetic, data interpretation, variability, RC, LR. Well, excuse me, I for coming late actually. Some people might be writing the examination before the 31st October. This is the time I can probably devote to writing. Thank you. The next video is going to be on the geometry triangles.